Using Camera Raw, whether you shot as a raw image to begin with, or you run it as a filter in Photoshop CC, you can get radically different developing of the same image, or different versions starting with the same subject. So here I have the beginning shot, and I want to go for some special effects. Here is one Camera Raw correction, where I'm going for that ethereal glow, but dark muted background. It's still soft focus, almost like there's a light shining on her face, which was really just the clever lighting of the photographer. And in the second sample, this is something I really love that they do often in sports photography, a very harsh, strong look to it by taking clarity over the top to really show that you've got strength or movement or just an overall more detailed image. But in this shot, I took the vibrance out a little bit more and painted in a correction on her eyes to make them blue, to really make them the focal point. So let's start with the original image. Before I do anything in this, I'm going to choose Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. That makes sure that the original shot is protected. Since this was delivered to me as a Photoshop file, I don't have the benefit of just editing it in RAW. But since I've got Photoshop CC, I could run Camera Raw as a filter. So I'll name my layer, and the original shot is now protected in that Smart Object layer. I'll choose Filter and Camera Raw Filter. And I'm going to take Clarity all the way to the left to really give an ethereal wash to the image. I'll adjust the exposure the overall contrast, go a little extreme with the highlights, darken the shadows, whiten the whites where I really am almost only seeing eyes and mouth detail, darken the blacks, that pulls everything into just her, but I want it to not be so rich in her skin tones, so I'm going to pull the vibrance down just a bit. There we go. Now in this case, I want to just focus on her and not see the background at all. So I'm going to use the adjustment brush and a very large brush. And I was experimenting earlier, so I'm going to clear out the adjustment brush and have no color settings applied. But the size I will make large enough that it can paint in the background, and you do need to have some adjustment made before you start using this. So I'm just going to double click each of these dials to set them back to where they started, and I'm only moving exposure before I paint. So exposure is darker, and I'll paint away some of the leaves in the background. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller to go over her head. And if I get into her or her hair, I could use a race. But I should warn you, these paintings with the adjustment brush are not something that could be saved in presets, but they are saved in my Camera Raw adjustment. There we go. So now if I've gotten a little too close to her and I want to take out some that was in her hair, I'll darken a little bit more so I could see that better. I'll choose Erase and hit my right bracket key for a nice big brush and erase away up here. I can undo or hit Command Option Z or Control Alt Z to multiple undo to go back. Command Shift Z or Control Shift Z goes forward to see before and after. So I think I've got her isolated properly. I'll go back to my hand tool, and maybe I went a little far with the highlights or the whites. There we go. That's more what I'm looking for. So now, in presets, I can save this, and I could load everything that I did in basic, or in fact, any one of these settings, into other photos, not even just this image. So in presets, 
I'm going to make a new one called Dark Ethereal. And I'll click OK. So now I'm going to do a different correction. I'll come back to Camera Raw. And this time, I'm going to take clarity in the opposite direction, really strong. And I'll remove or add a little bit more vibrance. And I could feel free to make other adjustments that might work better for this strong look I'm going for. There we have it. So now I'll go back to Presets, make a new one called Dark and Strong. And to finish this off, this will be a correction only on this photo. It won't apply to other images. But I'm going to zoom into her eyes with Command Plus or Control Plus and scoot this over and use the adjustment brush on a new brush to paint in a change on the eyes. The further you zoom in, the more detail you could see when you apply the brush. So I'm painting in, and it kind of gets a little creepy when you first do this, which could be a special movie effect that you're going for. But it really helps me see where I've painted. I could use Erase to clean up, but it's remembered the last settings that I did to paint away some of the bushes and trees in the background. So in the eyes now, I'm going to lighten the exposure to really make the eyes pop, darken the shadows, Add a lot of contrast. There we go. And apply an overall color filter. Eyes can typically also use a lot of sharpening. So here's before and after. I'm seeing a little bit of the taper of the second adjustment, so that's why her hair is moving. So I'll scoot over a little bit more so you could focus on just the eyes. I use spacebar to click and drag over before, after. But let's give this a completely different color. In color, I'll click this rectangle and go for a blue. Or a greenish blue. There we go. And now I will erase a little bit of this blue that was applied here. And I might even want to go to a super small brush and erase a little bit of the hair crossing over. And if I fit in window with Command-0, Control-0, that's a really interesting effect. But if I go back to my hand tool and back to presets, the dark and ethereal did pick up that blue. So did the dark and strong. So while you create presets, if I build another new one, it does all settings. But if you look at just the basic, adjustment brush is not part of it. If I choose all, it will do most everything in each of the settings in the Camera Raw dialog. So I'm going to hit Cancel and leave it with these last two settings. I can click OK, save one version for the client here, double-click the Camera Raw filter, go to Presets, choose Dark and Ethereal, click OK, and do another version for the client. I think I like this Dark and Strong best, so I'll go back to Presets, back to Dark and Strong, and I'd like you to see if you could come up with some more interesting corrections on this shot or some of your own using the immensely powerful presets built into the Camera Raw filter that you could run under Filter, Camera Raw, or using Camera Raw on images you shot in Raw by yourself. It's like going back into the darkroom with film and doing different corrections, different developing on the same photo over and over again. I hope you've enjoyed this. I know I love Camera Raw, and I live there. I go there before I even begin most of my Photoshop work.